This evil house that God is describing is one who's removed themselves from the front lines, removed themselves from the battle, set their nest up on high so they don't have to deal with the evil. And you know, we don't want our children to go to church because there's bad influences at church. And we don't want our children to go knocking on doors because there's strangers behind those doors. And we don't want our children, and you just protect your children so well. But God in Habakkuk chapter 2 through Habakkuk said the evil house is the one who removes himself and sets it on high and keeps away from everything. Now, we wouldn't think of that as an evil house. We would think of that as, wow, that's a very strong family unit but you're not serving the Lord. How about God wants you to raise a godly family while you serve the Lord? Amen. How about God's not choosing church or family? How about both? Amen. How about you say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And there's a lot of people who have home church. And let me tell you something, home church ought to be in everybody's home. You ought to have family devotions. You ought to have your home church, but that's not what God called you to do. He called you to public ministry. It's not my family. We're just going to serve the Lord all by ourselves. Great. You ought to be serving the Lord. You ought to have family devotions. You ought to be praying together. Hey, sing some hymns together. That's not church. That's an evil house if that's all you're doing. The Bible says in Isaiah 31, 1, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and that stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Saying, you know what, we're going to protect ourselves, we're going to stay safe, we're going to, you know, it's not a safe neighborhood to go soul winning, it's not a safe place to have a church, and all I want to do is just keep my children from being influenced by anything at all, I want to control everything, and you're going to just sit there and try and be the shepherd, and try and guard everything, and God says, hey, you ought to be trusting the Holy One of Israel. Woe to you that go to Egypt for help. And you can sit there and say, I'm going to raise my children and do it, and you violate the word of God to do it, you are doing it the wrong way. I don't care how, how good you are, how hard you try, how uh, attention to detail you might find yourself, and you're going to have this nest on high, you will lose your children. You can have all the safety guards you want. And I think about it from just like a physical standpoint. You can have the gate up. You can lock it. You can have the security alarm. You can have the cameras. You can dig a moat. You can put gators in that moat. You can do everything you want to, and you can say, ha, we're safe. Wrong. Safety's of the Lord. And unless the Lord's building it, unless you're doing it God's way, you're doing that in vain. You don't, you don't have to, there's nothing wrong with those things. But when God has a work for you to do, you do the work. And you say, you know what? I'm not sacrificing my family to serve God. I'm taking my family and serving God. And the evil house is the one who sacrifices the ministry to raise the family.